Hi, Kat Chancellor here with Stamp Art Connection and StampArtConnection.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator. And today I'm going to demonstrate a card that I found in the New Occasions catalog using the Wonderful Romance Suite. And it's on page 10 of your catalog. And you can notice that in this suite, you have some wonderful designer series paper. You have frosted embellishments, some of this beautiful petal pink variegated ribbon. And the, um, the die, the die uh, framelit dies that come with it as well as the stamps. What really appealed to me was this card right here up in the corner. And I'm just going to zoom in on it. you can see it right there it's a lovely little card that um, looks like it's about uh, probably a three by three card or maybe a four by four card and um, it's made with uh, with the uh, framelits cutting out some of this pretty green foliage and then a ribbon so I was kind of studying it and I thought well I'm going to try to to make it is the card that I um, designed using the uh, using this as an example and trying to put a, put together the steps that you would need to assemble this card. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. To begin with, you are going to need some Whisper White cardstock as well as some of this lovely vellum that comes from the DSP in this Floral Romance Suite. It's called the Floral Romance Specialty Designer Series Paper. And it's just a wonderful, beautiful vellum that has a nice uh, lace uh, pattern. You're also going to need the uh, stamp set. And the stamps I'm using, these are the cling stamps. The cling stamps I'm using are uh, this piece of foliage here, this piece here, as well as this sentiment thinking of you. I happen to have a friend that is in the hospital. Um, she just finished with some, um, some surgery. She was cancer free for a number, for a couple of years and now it looks like it's come back. So I'm going to be making um, a car this card that I'm also going to, um, I think I'm going to send to her because I just think it's just really beautiful and feminine. So those are the stamps that we're going to need. Um, you're going to need the frosted flowers because those are going to be our embellishments. The beautiful um, petal pink variegated ribbon. And the inks I'm using are Fresh Fig, uh, Mossy Meadow, and Pear Pizzazz. I'm also going to be using some stamping blends. And here I have a Stamping Right marker in Pear Pizzazz. And then I have a Light and Dark in uh, Mossy. And actually, it's Old Olive, but I'm going to use that to kind of create some of this darker foliage in my uh, in my uh, my assembly here. So the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to need your base card five and a half by four and a quarter. I've cut mine this way which you can either open it this way or this way. I have a layering piece of our vellum and that's called cut at four and a quarter by four and we're going to layer that on top of our card. You're going to need some Whisper White to um, stamp our foliage that we're going to cut out with these dies right here from our uh, framelits. And I'm going to need, you're going to need this die cut, this uh, punch, four and a quarter punch. Because what we're going to do is we're going to punch a circle and lay it um, on top of our designer series paper and then create our wreath around that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pear pizzazz and I'm going to stamp and you're going to need, and let's go ahead and count this. We're going to need one, two, three, four, uh, 
one, two, three, four uh, of those sprigs that go all the way around. So let's go ahead and stamp those. And I'll probably stamp more than that. Okay, so now that I have those stamped, I'm going to take my pear pizzazz and I'm simply going to run it along these flowers just like this using the brush end. I'm not really going to care about stick, sticking in the lines. I'm just going to kind of just swing that across and get the color on all the leaves. Then I'm going to take my light color here on my old of my light old olive and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of bring this around and cover my foliage. Now for uh, the rest of my foliage, fo foliage here, I'm going to take my dark old olive and I'm going to use my sharp point side because all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of come down here and I'm going to outline my leaf. And then I'm going to take my my light and I'm just going to kind of blend it a bit right here. 